do not need to soak beans when you cook them in the Instant Pot, whereas you do need to soak them when you cook them on the stove. So the Instant Pot already has a leg up because it makes it easier and quicker, but there are a few caveats that might make you want to soak them regardless. The first reason you might want to soak your beans is that beans make us too. Well, for some of us. Some of us don't have trouble digesting them, but for others, get pretty farty when you eat beans. So if you fall into that latter camp and want to minimize your farts, I suggest soaking your beans because it will help eliminate those difficult to digest starches found in beans. The second reason you might want to soak beans is that it creates more even textured beans. Without soaking them, they tend to have some split skins and the texture is a little bit varied. Some beans are really soft and some are a little harder. And the final reason you might want to soak beans is that it dramatically reduces the cook time. Of course, you have to remember first to soak them, but once you do that, pour the water on the beans, cover the thing, takes five seconds, you will dramatically cut down the cook time from like 30 to 40 minutes to like eight to 10 minutes. Regarding the soaking method, you just wanna cover the beans in a large bowl with a bunch of water. You can add salt at this stage or you can wait until later, which I'll talk about soon. And you wanna soak them in cool water for like eight to 12 hours or overnight. But there's also a quick soak method that you can do and I outline it in the blog post that you can find in the description box below. So if you've decided that you do want to soak your beans because either you want smoother beans or you want a shorter cook time or you don't want to fart as much, then you should really check out the delay start setting on the Instant Pot. Fill up your Instant Pot with the amount of beans you want to cook along with water and salt. Select the pressure cook setting and select the appropriate cook time for your variety of beans, making sure to use the cook time for soaked beans. Then use the delay start button. Use the plus and minus buttons to adjust how many hours you want to soak the beans and then press this button again to adjust how many minutes you want to soak the beans. If you select eight hours, your beans will soak in the salted water for eight hours. And when that eight hours is over, the Instant Pot will start pressure cooking the beans automatically. So you can set your timer before you leave for work and then come home to a pot of cooked beans in the evening. One thing I should mention is that if beans give you a really hard time with digestion, like so bad that you need to lock yourself in a room and isolate yourself so nobody smells your smelly farts, if it's that bad, then the delay start setting is probably not the best option for you. That's because when the beans are soaking in the Instant Pot, they'll automatically start cooking in the same soaking water and those difficult to digest starches in the beans will have leached out into the water. Of course, the water is going to get drained, so it's gonna be easier to digest than if you hadn't soaked the beans at all. But if you're someone who has a lot of trouble digesting beans, then this method is probably not the best option for you. Here's my ideal ratio for cooking beans in the Instant Pot. For every one pound of beans, you wanna cook them in five to six cups of water with two to two and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, which is about one and a quarter to one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. You'll use the pressure cook setting on your Instant Pot, which is the manual setting on older models. Again, in my cookbook, you will find a cook time chart for all the various different types of beans, how much time you should cook them, whether they're soaked or unsoaked. Even if you're just making a really simple pot of beans, not a chili or a stew, you can still amp up the flavor of those beans. So first of all, you don't have to just use water, beans, and salt. You can use vegetable broth instead of water. It'll give your beans a more savory, richer mouthfeel. I also want to emphasize that you should not skip the salt when you're cooking beans or soaking them. If you just wait until the end to sprinkle on a little salt, your beans are gonna be bland and nobody wants bland beans. Or if you generously salt them at the end, your beans are gonna to taste too salty. When you salt the cooking water or soaking water, the little salt granules are going to infuse every little bean and each bean will be well seasoned and perfect instead of bland or over salty. And then feel free to add other seasonings to the water and beans. You can add whole black peppercorns or freshly cracked black pepper, bay leaves, fresh herbs like oregano or thyme, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, you can add chopped garlic or onion or carrots. There's just a whole variety of things you can do to spice up your beans. So try to experiment the next time you make a pot of beans. If you're making a big pot of beans, there are a couple of things you should know. When I'm making a pot of beans, the volume expands a lot and it gets really foamy. So I try to stick at the halfway mark or below on the inner pot. Also, if you're making a pound of beans, that's gonna create seven cups of beans, which is 
quite a lot, so unless you have a lot of bean lovers in your family to feed, you might want to freeze a little bit. What I like to do is freeze them in two cup increments. That way in the future when I'm making a recipe and it calls for a can of beans, I can just quickly defrost that small jar of two cups of beans, which is about the same amount of beans you would get in a can of beans. I usually just use the universal pressure cook setting to make beans, but there's also a bean chili setting. The bean chili setting will automatically default to certain cook times. If you want firmer beans, it'll default to 25 minutes, kind of medium soft beans to 30 minutes, and really soft beans to 40 minutes. On newer models, you can change that 25 minutes to 27 minutes, or that 40 minutes to 38 minutes. But I have heard on that older models of the Instant Pot, those default cooking times are set and you can't change them. So if you want more flexibility and customization, then just go ahead and use the manual setting. This last tip is important because if you don't want to get sprayed in the face with bean foam, I can't imagine you want to, then you want to make sure you use a natural pressure relief for at least 10 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes. That just means when the Instant Pot is done cooking, you let it sit, hang out, don't touch it, and then after 10 or 15 minutes, you can move the valve to the venting position and release the remaining steam. All right, those are my tips for cooking beans in the Instant Pot. Hope you found them useful. Now I'm gonna share with you two super easy recipes for beans. They require no hands-on cooking, so I hope you enjoy them. For these spicy Mexican red beans, I'm going to soak some kidney beans in water for eight hours or overnight. This really improves the texture of the beans as well as aids with digestion. In addition to these soaked kidney beans, I'm adding some diced red onion along with chopped jalapeno peppers. You can omit the seeds and membranes for a milder version. I'm also adding some minced garlic along with a mixture of spices and bay leaves and a generous amount of kosher salt. Then I'm adding canned green chilies. You can use mild, medium, or spicy as well as enough water to cover everything and a jar of salsa. I'm using salsa verde because that's my favorite, but you can use any salsa you like. Since these beans have already been soaked, they only need to be cooked for eight minutes at high pressure using the pressure cook setting. I like to finish my beans with some fresh cilantro, and you can serve them as is, but I really like them paired with rice for rice and beans, as well as spooned over corn tortillas for an easy taco night. For this Mediterranean chickpea salad, I'm using unsoaked whole chickpeas. I'm also adding some garlic along with fresh thyme and oregano, as well as, again, a generous amount of kosher salt, I'm also adding bay leaves, black peppercorns, cumin seeds, and coriander seeds, and some vegetable broth instead of water to add more flavor. Since these beans are not soaked, we'll cook them at high pressure for 35 minutes using the pressure cook setting. I finished this chickpea salad with a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice, chopped parsley, and freshly cracked sea salt. 